and I want you to write this down. Believing big requires big faith. Believing big requires big faith. This is where Joshua is finding himself. Again, he's taken over for one of the greatest leaders that the world has ever seen. God gave Joshua this dream, telling him, hey, this is what is going to happen. And now it's happening. God is calling him to do this. He's calling him to step out. He's calling him to act. He's calling him to step into this position. And I've got some questions for you. What is God calling you to do? What is God asking you to do? When it comes to your dream, what is God calling you to do? What is God asking you to do? What dream has God given you? Because you have a dream. You might be sitting there and you might think, I I don't know what my dream is. I don't know if I know how to dream anymore. God has given you a dream. Dream big. Pray big. And now it's time to believe big, and that requires big faith. Why? Because you're going to have moments when you doubt. You're going to have moments when you wonder, can I do this? Like, do do I have what it takes? You're going to have those moments when you're not going to know how something is going to go. It's going to feel like it's just all up in the air, like it's all just a roll of the dice. You're going to have those moments. And if you haven't had them yet when it comes to your dream, you will. So what do we do in those moments that are coming? where we doubt, where we feel unsure, where we're not really certain about what to do next? How do we have the big faith that we need in those moments to believe big? Because without big faith, we won't really be believing big. So how do we do that? Because that's what God wants all of us to do when it comes to our dream is to believe big. 